Hey booktube, this is Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my channel, Books I'm Not Reading. I am here today to do the booktube oldie tag. I was tagged an awful lot last week and so I wanna make sure that I get, get started on these. Um, the booktube oldie tag was created by Monica at Cozy Monica. And I was tagged by Jess Book Girl TV. Um, if you haven't seen Jess's channel, please, please, I will link to her video down below. Um, and please go and check out her channel. Um, so question number one, and if you don't have a channel, by the way, you are still part of the booktube community. You could still be a booktube oldie. I want to hear what your answers to some of these questions are down in the comments section. So be ready. Uh, question one, how long have you been part of the booktube community? So I'm coming up pretty soon here. I'm, it will be six years. Um, I started my channel at the end of June of 2017. I was one of those people and I don't recommend this, but I didn't, I didn't really leave comments on, uh, other channels before I started my booktube channel. So yeah, I, I, in hindsight, that was, that was a mistake. Um, now I watched booktube and I listened, but I didn't because I didn't really think I was going to make a channel. So, um, yeah, I, I, I did nothing. Um, <laughs> but anyway, okay. Question two, what was your biggest misconception before starting booktube? Um, time, time, time. Having a booktube channel is very time consuming. Um, and so, yeah, uh, I mean, this is my third attempt at making this tag video. <laughs> so however many minutes I made it into the previous two attempts, like you could just add that to my tab and then there's upload, there's editing, uploading, putting all of the notes and information down below. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it is a, it's a very time consuming, um, hobby. <laughs> Question three, how do you think booktube has changed since you first started? Um, and, and Jess had a similar answer to this. So this, one of the things that's happened recently that I've seen um, is that there have been a lot of uh, channels that have started and instantly uh, for whatever reason, um, have had a lot of subscribers or within a few months have had so many, like thousands of subscribers, which is, which is fantastic, which is great for them. That did not happen. Um, and, and I auto begrudge them anything. I couldn't have handled it if it had happened to me. Like I could not, I, I could not have, have handled that many people all at once, um, starting my, my little booktube channel. So, so I'm happy for them, but, uh, that definitely, definitely, uh, did not happen when I started, uh, booktube. And again, like I'm not begrudging anyone their success. There's a lot of factors that play into that. So question four, what is your favorite booktube memory? Oh, there's so many. I don't even know where to begin with this. Uh, you know, um, someone told me once in the comment section that I reminded them of their favorite English teacher. That was a beautiful moment. Um, I, I, you know, God, different buddy reads that I've done. Uh, even just hearing some of my absolute favorite booktubers just even say my name. And I know that's happened to some of, some of you. Um, if I, if, when I've said your name, you've told me like, oh my God, I can't believe you were saying my name. So, um, yeah, I think there, there is a bit of like a uh, fangirl in me and, uh, it's, it's really an honor to hear like someone, someone who you feel like is just oh my gosh, like so far, uh, above you, uh, say, say your name or your channel's name on their channel. That's, that's really special. So question five, what are some of the books you were introduced to because of booktube? 
Oh, you guys, I could go on and on. I have been keeping track of the books I've read since 1996. <laughs> um, uh, and do you know, I was just looking back since 2017 because I was in a huge, a huge reading slump, you guys, at that time. Or I had been in a really, a very, very long reading slump. Um, and yeah, it just was barely like... I don't know. I had very little motivation to read whatsoever. Um, but in the last five years, I mean, okay, like we'll start, we'll start with the, 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 the Trollope, Anthony Trollope. Would I have ever read Anthony Trollope without booktube? I don't think so. I can't even find any of his books where I live. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah, I mean, this, I, I just this morning actually finished The Last Chronicle of Barsetshire, which is the last book in this series. It was so beautiful. It was so, just so wonderful. And I am so grateful to BookTube that, um, I was encouraged and, you know, uh, I saw, I kept seeing, oh, who's Anthony Trollope? Like, who's that? Um, so I'm very, very glad about that. I have read a ton of Dickens since I started my channel. Uh, my number one buddy reader, who also, by the way, left a comment on my booktube newbie tag. So she's been here since the very beginning. Um, but she and I have read, we've read so many great books together. Um, we've read so much Dickens together. We're going to read another Dickens book together later this year. Um, and that has been wonderful, wonderful. Um, a couple other things. I am not sure that I would have read James Baldwin. Go, here's Go Tell It on the Mountain, which is a masterpiece, as is, and this book is just like so devastating, uh, Giovanni's Room. God, I love this book. I should read it again. Oh, man. Anyway, so James Baldwin uh, is someone that I, I might not have... Um, I, might, I don't know. I don't know if I would have read James Baldwin if it hadn't been for booktube. Another book um, that I for sure probably would not have read or discovered is uh, John Mullen's book, What Matters in Jane Austen. And you'll see every, every July for Jane Austen July, people are reading this book. People are talking about this book. Um, it, it's usually recommended, a recommended uh, read for, for Jane Austen July. And so I was so excited when I finally got it. And um, uh, yeah, like when I finally, when I finally actually read this book, oh my gosh. And I just remembered one more. So one year, uh, at the end of 2020, I asked all of you to tell me five books I should read. And I bought those books and I read them in 2021. And it was wonderful. You guys recommended such great books. Um, Asher, uh, my name is Asher Lev, which I don't have a copy of because my copy literally like fell apart in the middle of it. But I'm so glad I read that and, and gave that author another try because I'd read another one of his books. Um, books and I didn't really like it and I this year I'm going to read The Chosen and I'm so excited to do that but by far and away A Month in the Country by J.L. Carr oh my gosh this is such a great book and if you have not and it was only because you guys told me you know, so but if you're one of the people who has not read this book you are missing out um so yeah a month in the country oh my gosh what a just beautiful gem of a book okay so that is why it's important to keep track not just on goodreads but also just by hand because you can see then easily like Oh, like this is post when I started my channel. It really tells quite a history. Um, let's see here. Uh, question six. What is something that frustrates you about booktube? Uh, you know, you know what frustrates me about booktube is that I just can't quit my job and just read books and talk to you about them all the time. Wouldn't that be great? That would be so great. <laughs> so that frustrates me about booktube. Question seven, what is your hope for the future of booktube? Um, 
You know, it's an interesting question. I, I think as long as YouTube doesn't dramatically <laughs> change things somehow, um, I I really I really like the direction that BookTube is going, and or at least at least the part of BookTube that the part of the BookTube river that I sort of swim in, or <laughs> um, uh, I'm a, I'm a little I know I'm a I'm a small fish in a in a very big pond and. Um, but I really like the things I see happening. I see so many positive uh, booktubers, uh, people talking about um, really interesting things and um, different booktube events as they crop up. That's exciting and fun. And I love being able to just embrace uh, an event. So yeah, I think, like I said, it, Unless, unless YouTube does something really radically different, radically changes whatever the heck the algorithm is, which I still don't really understand. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think I think BookTube is going in a good a good direction. At least my at least my the, the channels I'm watching, I feel like for the most part are really positive, really um, you know trying to encourage smaller channels and things like that. So. That's exciting. That's exciting to me. So, all right, people I want to tag. So, <laughs> I was trying to think back, like, what channels were we watching when we started watching BookTube? Um, now, Steve has already been tagged in this, but I have to tag Steve <laughs> Donahue. Um, Steve was the one who mentioned my channel. Uh, and that was how I was able to get a thousand subscribers. And I still can just hear it. I can see it. <laughs> um, and I, I, Steve has, has, um, been very kind to Jason and I, so I am always grateful to Steve and I know he's been tagged, but I'm tagging him anyway, because he says nobody ever tags him. I want to tag Tilly at Tilly Shelf. Um, Claudia at Booksminster's Library, Roz at Scally Dandling About the Books. Roz is one of those people who, before she started her channel, which was not, not long after I started mine, but she, she was really, really avid in the comments section. So, um, I'm going to tag Kim in middle of the book march. Uh, I want to tag, I went, like I said, I, well, I went back and looked at my booktube newbie tag just to see if there were any channels that were still running. Uh, and so I want to tag Emma Novella. Thank you for leaving a comment on my booktube newbie tag. Um, you clearly must be a golden oldie with the, with the rest of us. I also want to tag, this is a newer channel, but he has been commenting for quite a while. So I consider, I consider Aaron, Aaron read a book, Aaron read a book. Um, I, I think, I think he could answer these questions because he has been part of our booktube community for a while before starting his own channel. So, all right, booktube, thank you so much for watching. If you want to do this tag and you have a channel, please feel free. If not, tell me what your answers to these questions are in the comments section. Um, I would love, love to hear from you. If you don't feel comfortable leaving a comment, that's fine. Um, you can leave an emoji or if you just want to say hello, you can give this video a thumbs up. Booktube, remember to be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll be back soon with another video. Bye.